We are here at a $50 million house. You heard that right, $50 million. And this house is actually really cool um, because it's hosted guests like Barack Obama, an F1 driver, and there was a very famous movie shot here called Basic Instinct. In fact, in this very spot right here, they had two Lotuses, right? Yeah, Lotus, I think it was the Esprit. We'll cut to that just so you guys can check it out. I am so excited to show you this house. In fact, it is the most expensive home I have ever stayed in. And speaking of homes that I've stayed in, as you kind of start earning them good income, the number one thing that people tend to spend more money on is their travel expense. And I've noted that, or I've learned that, as I stay in a house, each time you have to go bigger and better. So this is the biggest and the best that you will see. And I have been through this home and it is crazy, crazy. I've gotten lost in it twice. <laughs> yes. Starting off, we just want to appreciate how beautiful this garden is and all the beautiful cars surrounding it. There we go, a little 360 for you guys. The Veyron's up there too, but <laughs> no one cares. Yep, nobody cares. Hello darkness, my old friend. Come on in. I feel like this is an MTV Cribs. Uh, I was literally about to turn around. Hey guys, this is my crib. <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. As we enter into the kitchen, the first thing that you're gonna see is this massive wine collection. Now there's over $500,000 worth of wine in there. I saw a bottle from 1995 after just a few seconds of looking. Speaking of big value things, Stick around for just a little bit because there is a two and a half million dollar library. Crazy, that's more than most freaking homes times 10. As I've leveled up with each one of my vacations, I've realized that kitchens are typically not made for the homeowner and his or her family. Uh, they're actually built for staffs. And a lot of times they do like Scolary's hidden kitchens. This one is not so much of a hidden <laughs> the kitchen. The staff is here, <laughs> me yeah, there's, Tommy. There's our, we should be hidden. <laughs> no. no, we did have the opportunity to actually bring in a chef and cook for us. And I've done that um, typically in Mexico, actually, when you rent a home, you get a full-blown staff and they take care of your hand and foot. Really an amazing experience. But that's kind of what would happen here. You would bring in a, a chef and his team and they would cook, clean, and take care of everything for you. Again, that's, that's when you get to high tier status, but we're not bringing a chef in here, guys. Dude, not, I, not make, I make a mean bowl of cereal. Yes. I, get yes. I got you. Does. Real quick, there's a wood-burning pizza oven right here. Like Don't open it. Three other... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a double oven, then a single oven over there. Wide open kitchen, I could feel the breeze coming into here. Crazy coffee setup, like four different coffee machines, it, which is odd because this house really only fits about eight people or so they claim it will fit eight people. There's also more fireplaces than I can count, uh, here being one of them. Little seating area right outside the kitchen, uh, little TV, a little tiny, I don't know, I think this is where when people are behave bad, you just throw them out here and lock them in there. We'll put That's where the kids go. There. This is a, like, look at this seating area. It, it oversees the ocean. We also saw the garden back there. There's probably a million dollars in plants in oh, the yeah. front and back. Yeah, no they're doubt. gorgeous. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Centrally located dining room that leads right back to the foyer. Yet another fireplace. Huge screen TV if you want to watch TV when you eat your dinner. We got to count the bedrooms. Bedroom number one, yet another fireplace. This is kind of a Jack and Jill setup. There's not a bathroom connecting them, which is interesting, but it leads right into another bedroom with a fireplace number three, or is that four? Was there one in the dining room that we just saw? Yeah, this is four. Fireplace number four, bedroom number two. In a home like this in the ocean, they always try to make as many rooms face the ocean as possible. I'm surprised at how small these windows are given the, the beautiful view, but still awesome room nonetheless, so you can just see all the cliffs, the coves. This room is definitely one of the warmer ones because hot air rises, no air conditioning. Fireplace number five. <laughs> and then the beautiful, quaint little bathroom. This is one of the many perks of working at the Hamilton Collection, by the way. This is, I mean, we've done, we've done a lot, this right, guy? I like there's this beautiful, quaint little bathroom that's like larger than most studios in New York. Like studio apartments, I'm like, bro. I'm like, For real. That's a house. There's Natalia doing what she does best. Sitting. As you continue to enter into the master bedroom area, there's this huge pool. Now you can see the waterfall is cascading down. That actually comes from a hot tub that is up there, one of two hot tubs. That's not the sexy hot tub. No, no, see that one later. that's oh, my right. personal hot tub. It is outside for of later. <laughs> Me and Steve had a hot tub down there, the sexy one. On the flight to California, I watched Basic Instincts because I like, wanted to get hyped about the house. One of the super famous scenes was filmed right here. We'll put a clip of this scene. Which scene was that? I think it was like a sexy time scene, if you know what I'm saying. Dude, I thought it smelled in here. Like, I thought it was the ocean, but the, the fit, I know, that's what it was. <laughs> Master bedroom fireplace number seven. I'm paying for the place, so I get to stay in the big boy room. Amazing view. Boy. Guys, <laughs> wave to the camera if you're f***ing stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Got their asses, yeah, <laughs> still waving. <laughs> Arguably the best bathroom in the house. Uh, my, ba oh. my bathroom's sick. Tommy's oh, bathroom's it is. Nice. The tub, is it? The tub's it got is. me beat. Tub with, you know, if, if I'm like bathing in here, you guys could probably come in. Oh no, could you come and say hi? You could for sure, me, for sure. Aiden, show him your pretty face. All right, it's blocked by camera. Oh, there he is. Huh? 
I'll just say you can tan your wiener in there. Shut up, Tommy. And now for the one we've all been waiting for, the $2.5 million library. Didn't something happen? Didn't someone get stabbed with an ice pick in this, Tommy? Is that what there happened? Were there was lots of ice pick stabbings in the movie. Fireplace number eight. No. This right. library is actually The, the best nuts. part is that it leads into another. Oh, wait, I forgot. There, to flip through these artwork, there's literally <laughs> white gloves right here. Wow. Isn't <laughs> that so bougie? Anyway. See, if this room was the one facing the ocean, I would have poached this one for is you. This is amazing. It is really nice. It's a vibe. You got a little um, like a sand garden here. I went through You're going to go rake it for, for peace and calmness? Yeah. Okay, she needs some help um, with peace and calmness. My hot tub is right here. Oh, I shit, it does it go is. right out from your bedroom. Unfortunately, it's locked. This living space is cool. Have you get like this just so random. What is this? It's <laughs> just like a couch and there's more, more coffee. <laughs> oh, no what? way. It's, it's uh, Pebble Beach. You have your own coffee maker? I know. Dude. This <laughs> Wait, where is it? Uh, in the cabinet. Right oh, the there's Earl Grey too. One of the coolest things about this house, other than the fact that you might not have realized there's an upstairs walk around in the library, is that there is this spiral staircase that, that also gets you downstairs, not just to the up part. We're going to head down these spiral staircase. Oh God, you got my ass. <laughs> sorry. You got my ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the in-law suite. Where AIDS is sleeping? Yep. AIDS Probably is our in-law. Yep. Hi, AIDS. Phone. Hello? Yeah. Obama? How was that, brother? Oh, okay, thanks, bye. Tom, he just, he just knows, every, he knows everybody. Nice little kitchenette. You can basically just bury your in-laws down here and never worry about them. This area does kind of lead out to the hot tub, the pool, so it's got towels, and then it's basically the pool closet where you can get changed to wash your stuff. Do you want to show the people Let's the do it. This is kind of the courtyard. Cascading waterfall. Very sexy. And now we are into, I think, what we'd call master bedroom number two. Tommy, how did you poach this one? Seniority? Um, I came in here. Uh, and no. Took, uh, took <laughs> Not seniority. You just did. That's the way to do it. You just sh in the bathroom, then who's going to take it? You have a little walkway and a very dark, kind of like, a, oh, black potties are the most fun ever because. Dude, that's what I'm saying. When you sh in a black potty, it just sh in a black toilet looks so weird. It looks way bigger. Have you ever sh in a black toilet? I have. Look at this shower, <laughs> dude. Very nice. This whole thing is a shower. You can see the ocean right there. Can you? But there's a Oh, you have a walkout door. So yeah, this wasn't blocked off. You could literally just see the ocean as you're showering. That's yeah. insane. I love this bathroom. For real, just take five seconds and look at this. It's crazy. No wonder billionaires stay here, literally. It's like the craziest house I've ever seen. And you can smell, it's like a fresh ocean breeze too. You can smell it in your bed. It's nuts. This is what we call the gym and on vacation. This is what Steve calls the area that never, ever, ever will get used ever. And now you get to see the beautiful outside with the million dollar gardening, the hot tub, the crazy view of the ocean, waves crashing, the full back view. That's what he said. <laughs> I love the dining room table. You can see it from outside, obviously. Oh, yep. It looks so cool. I think there's at least three fire pits out here too. The eating area outside which is fantastic. So this, this actually also has a few cottages on property. Um, the, I think it's literally like five, 600 feet wide. This is what we meant when we said that there's at least a million dollars worth of plants out here. Yes. It's crazy. Do you want to show the people your hot tub? Yes. The lame hot tub. Oh. The sexy hot tub? No, yeah. you the guys... lame hot tub. This AKA is not the, the boys hot tub, AKA the sexy hot tub, AKA the seniority hot tub. Look at that house across the way. And wave. <laughs> Crazy. You know what's cool? There's gonna be four guys in this hot tub tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. Four? It's not four. Yeah, I was say, there's at least six of them oh. guys. Hot tub, we're gonna bust that thing out in just a little bit. I'm gonna say I'm a little underwhelmed, but it's still we're still gonna make good I use of this. That thing. Rusty I mean, makes me a little nervous. That's but what she said. This looks nice though. Like this is a nice hot tub. Oh it is. Dude, we can fit seven guys in here easy. <laughs> I'm so happy I have my hot tub. Who's Cliff and what's he dropping off? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I hate him. Look at all the homes. Like, look at this masterful, amazing, beautiful view. I mean, this is probably a quarter billion dollars in homes. For real. This is the craziest, most expensive house that I've stayed in to date. You know what? I think we're going to find a bigger and better home for the next one. Ooh. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe oh, below. That's Not for be you hard. guys, though. Peace out. Okay, bye.